going along. Oops. So here we go. So it is time for a reboot. And um, uh, most of us, small business people and larger companies have been able to figure out how to work from home and, you know, using all of these um, hiring, uh, all of these online sources to actually have uh, meetings has been um, powerful because it's really changed the course of how we do business. We no longer have to run around town if we don't need to. We can actually do a Skype meeting pretty quick. It's nice to be in person. Yes, I love being in person. But as an employer or as a job seeker, you have to be able to speak to people on uh, through the computer, through any screen, maybe your phone or iPad. Um, but you have to be able to connect. And so uh, because of COVID, once again, it's given us an opportunity to take a look at how we do our communication and we might make things a lot easier for us. The other thing it, about doing things virtually versus in person is uh, it seems to take a little time to hire people or um, find the right person. And um, because it is a new way of um, interviewing people. So if you've been on the job fair, um, the virtual job fair, and you haven't received any kind of hits or anything, we can talk about that because there is a way to, most of the stuff I'm dealing with today is going to be talking about up updating your profile and, and things you have available to you. So um, we have a lot of resources for you, for you and job seekers. So of course we have the Maui County Virtual Job Fair. Oh, if you want this uh, presentation, put your uh, first and last name in the chat box and your email and I'll send it to you. The reason why I'd send it to you is because these are all live links and these are all resources that are available to you and to employees. So of course the Maui County Virtual Job Fair and the Maui American Job Center were sisters in, in this uh, uh, program. Uh, dislocated worker program. If you have had um, to release some employees and they've been out of work for some time, uh, they have an opportunity to uh, try out the dislocated worker program and its guidance into getting back into the working field. If you have gaps in your um, employment because of COVID, uh, these guys will be able to help you. I have a make your next move and that is from the US Department of Labor. And you can actually hopscotch the possibilities of approaching a new job sector. So if you have an interest in seeing what else is out there or if you have employees or a family and friends, they can go right on this link and they can take a look at what is available based on their skills. And then UHMC is a partner of the uh, virtual job fair and they have upscale training on everything. We had a talk yesterday about skills are the new currency. And if you need upscale training or your employees need upscale training, you can click on both of these links here. And the, the comment was yesterday that uh, Excel and Word are almost mandatory that you have the ability to use those, but there are several other platforms that you can just take an hour class or a five hour class or a week class, depending on you know uh, what it is you want to learn. But these two links will lead you to all of that training. Um, over on the next piece here, we have self-assessments. So a uh, Hawaii uh, career employer, excuse me, explorer, um, uh, gives you quick questions on your likes and dislikes. That's this link over here. And I love this because I did it just to see where it would take me. And luckily, I found out that I'm in the right position. <laughs> I do a lot of marketing. And so this taught me, I went through, asked, uh, answered all those questions really quickly. And it put out a, a PDF report for me so it can show me what jobs I should be looking at. So, And then there's the Small Business Development Center here on Maui. We have the SCORE office, which is SCORE mentorship. I am a SCORE mentor, so uh, Karen Arakawa is as well. Um, so if you were to click over to SCORE, then uh, you can connect with us and we can help mentor you whatever, uh, if you're having issues or you know you have questions, how to do something better, we could always help you with that. Same with a Small Business Development Center. Uh, Wayne Wong is the man, so um, that's a really good one. And then I always pop this one in here 
Maui Business Brainstormers, it's a group that I've belonged to now for 11 years. And they're here on Maui. And what we do is we help small business owners. So if a small business owner has an issue that they don't know how to fix, maybe they're not getting enough people signed up for their events, or maybe they need more people in their, in their um, brick and mortar business between 12 and two, you can come to the Maui Business Brainstormers meetings and tell us what your issue is. And then everybody in the room will give you resources to help you get beyond that uh, problem. So this, I love this group and I just popped that in there because I just think it's the best and I'm a small business owner and they've helped me a great deal. So uh, job searching sites, this is where we are now. We are covering today Maui County Virtual Job Fair and we are connected to HireNet Hawaii. I added these other job sites, uh, job searching sites for you so you can peruse them if you want to. See how other people are, um, what words other people are using for their job descriptions. Uh, if you just want to study, you have the links for all of these to, to go there. So I just pop that one in there too. So, all right. So we're going to get into a company, your company profile. And your individual profile works kind of the same way, but there are a lot of um, uh, extra things for jobs and team players and stuff like that. So let's just scoot right in. So what I thought I would do is I thought I would share screenshots of the site um, because this way I can ru run through it. And then if we have time, we can go live and I can show you the moving parts. But this is one that I built for my company. Um, I was able to put in my company logo, just clicking here, just click here and you get to your company logo. Yeah, I added a banner photo just because I'm marketing target, it just kind of made sense. Um, so uh, I don't actually have any jobs on the site, but I built this so I can show you what things you need to have filled out to uh, have a really good company profile. So here, if you wanted to upload a, a, a photo like this, maybe in the front of your business, or maybe it's your logo, maybe it's a banner, whatever you want, you can add it right here. So just upload. Uh, because I have one in here, if I wanted to change it, I'd delete this cover and I'd add a new one. So um, the next thing you want to do here is scoot down into this uh, application, basically. It's kind of an application format. Uh, you're not applying, but you're filling in, filling in basic information. This is the information that the, um, uh, the job seeker will see when they are looking at your job so, or at your company. So the first thing you're going to need here is the name of the person who's going to be doing the hiring. So the person who's going to be checking on resumes, connecting with job seekers, you want that person's name in here because this is what's going to show up on the job site. And then your company name, of course, and then your email or the email of the person who's going to be connecting with job seekers. I'm going to have to do something here. There's a um, lawnmower in, behind me, so I got to get up for a second and shut my window. I'm so sorry. Forgive me. Working from home, that's what it is. <laughs> Sorry about that. All right, so the next thing you're gonna need here is um, the phone number is very important. A website, if you have a website. Um, if you have that website, you can just put your, you can just put your website in or you can put the website in of your job uh, page on your website. And then what sector of business you're in. So these things are gonna be really important for somebody who is looking. When someone's looking for a position, we ask that they give us the job title they're looking for and the sector. So if you have a sector that is not business, if it's construction, if it's um, uh, admin, what, what, a business, whatever it is, you can pop that here. And these are this is a drop down. so there are several suggestions that you could use. Mm -hmm. So the next thing you're gonna be looking at is the founding date. So when you started your business. And then after that, it's about your company. So this piece right here, it uh, tells somebody what kind of flavor you have going in your site. Is it corporate? Is it casual? 
what is it? So I built one for myself. If you find yourself in need of talking through a marketing idea, setting off on a new course, or getting more connected with your audience, you've come to the right place. My aim is to guide you towards the most simple and easy way forward, helping you uh, save time and money while helping you reach your marketing goals. So this is all about my company. So this is what I tell to people who are looking at my work. So uh, the next thing we have here is uh, you're going to add your either DCCA number or your tax ID number. And we ask for this information so that job seekers know that you're legit. We just want to make sure that we're giving job seekers an opportunity to find companies that are, are rooted here on Maui and that you have signed up with the uh, state or county. And then we have a couple of questions here. So we add these for, would you consider a job shadow position or a paid internship position? Yes, if, uh, don't click it if you're a no. And then terms and conditions, we have terms and conditions on this site for employers. So you know what we're expecting from you putting legitimate jobs and connecting with uh, job seekers on the site and then a few other things. So you'll want to make sure that you click the terms and conditions. And then you have the ability to have your social links. And so this is really helpful if you're looking at, I wouldn't even say if you're looking at a younger crowd, most of us now, I'm gonna be 59 this year, so I'm on social all the time. So depending on the person, you might wanna put your social links because it might have more information for a job seeker to go, oh my gosh, I wanna work for that company. So. I mean, it's really helpful. Uh, you don't have to do that though. So the next thing you wanna do is add your address. So the address that you would have here is the address of your company, where if I were gonna send a thank you note or if I were gonna send uh, something to you, to you put your um, location here. So this is a drop down, and it has different cities in the county. We have a postal code and then you pop in your address. You don't have to do longitude and latitude because it does it for you automatically. So that if somebody is looking for your job or your company, they would know where to find it. Um, I love this. So um, it takes a village, right? Um, you can add account numbers. So the person who we had on that first company profile was the person who would be checking the resumes and connecting with the people who are applying for the work. Here, you can add extra people. If you have other admin people that you want to have access to this information, you can add them and you can add as many as you want. This is really helpful because a lot of us have you know, employees that will be taking part in hiring or processing even. So you might wanna put their information in here. The uh, resume would not be going to this information. Again, it's going to that first email address um, or connecting with that first person. But these are all people who can take part in this website as an employer, and then you can choose their permissions. They can post new jobs, they can manage jobs, they can save candidates. And then we don't have packages and transactions. You can just uh, disregard that, but that's on there anyway. And because it is, I always just show it just because. Um, and so team members, you can add also, and these are not people who would have access to the resumes or the people, these are just team members. So I kind of look at this like, you're going to laugh. Um, influencers. So if I have a, I used to work with Akaku and uh, Chivo Ching Johnson, everybody knows him. Everybody has a connection with him. And so uh, if I were doing a company profile, I would add him as one because everybody knows him. And if someone was looking for a job at Akaku, and they said, oh my God, Chiba works there. I love him. It might just be one reason why they wanna click further and take a look at your company or your jobs. So team members are really important. You can add a photo, you can add their social information and you can even add a description. You don't have to, but it gives you the option to do that. And some 
businesses are big enough to do that. Some small like mine, I only have two people that I work with, so I probably wouldn't do that there. Another thing to give credit to the company that you're working for, uh, or that I would be working for if I was looking for a job, um, uh, you can put affiliations, whether you are part of a union or on different boards or a chamber of commerce, you can add an image of that chamber of commerce. So this just, again, deepens the profile and gives somebody looking for a job the ability to jump in and go, oh my God, that company looks great. <laughs> That's the idea anyway. <laughs> All right. So we are going to scoot into posting a new job. So when this is the dashboard, as you saw it before, um, but now I'm looking at post a new job. So you just click post a new job and uh, you would have a need to have a few things handy. You're going to need to have your job title. You're going to need to have the description of that job title. You will want the application deadline, the job sector, the job type. The job type would be like um, um, full-time, part-time, virtual, whatever it is you have. And then the job apply type, what this is here, it's a drop down, and it gives you the choice of um, uh, accepting applications internally on our system, externally on your system, or via email direct to the person who's going to be hiring. Maybe the owner is the one who's hiring. So here it's a drop down and it gives you options. You can either have your application here on our site and then you use the back end of this site you can have them go directly to your uh, job page on your website or you can um, get those applications via email so it gives you choices and i think that's great depending on how we, we all work differently you know so we just never know uh, that job also will have career level and that would be like um, management, um, entry level, things like that. Experience, if they have to have two years of experience to have this job, if they have to have a, uh, had been working for a company for five years or more, this drop down will allow you to choose that experience. And then qualifications, this relates to a lot of things. It relates to maybe a certificate in the type of work they're trying to do or uh, you have to have an MBA in order to apply for this job. So this asks for some other information, but these two are really important to put in the, they, and, and they are mandatory. This one here, career level is not mandatory. Um, you can just be uh, telling us in your description what that looks like. So I love this part. I love this part because when I, gosh, I think in 2000, 19, I was looking for a virtual position because I was doing a lot of front uh, to and from uh, my dad's house on the mainland. And so um, I experienced a lot of these on uh, different job sites. We didn't have this job site then, but I remember when I was trying to find a job, this was really important. And I thought it was really important for employers. Sometimes you want, okay, so... <laughs> Um, sometimes people say, oh yeah, I can do that. I'm really good at that. Um, and you might be really good at that to your level, but maybe the employer is asking for a different level of good. So to find out what those skills are with that person who's applying, you can ask a question and a question relating to that actual program. So maybe you are, uh, somebody has to know Excel. And you say, well, can you do summations on an Excel spreadsheet? And if the person doesn't know what that means, you know that they're not at the level that you need them to be. This is kind of an area where you can feel out the uh, skill set of the person. So the choices that you have in answering those questions is you can have a drop down. So if you ask a question about Excel, drop down, do you know? Um, how to data entry, do you know summations, do you know how to add workbooks, uh, you could ask all those questions in a drop down, you can ask those same questions with a checkbox, so the person can actually check off the things that they know, 
Uh, you can have a numbered list if you want, or you can have a text field. And so these things are really easy to do. Um, if you wanted to upload a field, nobody really does this piece because these certainly are um, plenty, um, but you can upload a field if you don't have, if we don't have what you need, you can add one. And then you ask a question. So let's look at those questions and how they lay out. So here, um, I added a question uh, I did a text area. So basically I wanted them to give me a paragraph in their answer, no check boxes or anything. I made it mandatory. So if they wanna apply with me, they need to answer these questions because I need to know what they know or what level they're at. Um, and it all depends on the job you're looking for, of course. So I can easily turn that off and say, it's not mandatory, but I'd like you to answer, right? Or if I, put it in and I'm like, I don't need it. I just don't wanna ask that question after all. You can just click this red X and the question is gone. So I added two questions. When I was looking for a job online um, years ago, uh, I had to answer a lot of these questions and I was kind of timid about it because I was like, what if I don't answer right? But you know, I answered to the best of my ability. So anyway, um, it gives you options to feel out the applicant a little bit more. And then the other piece here is this allows you to add a PDF, which might have a description of the job, maybe more thorough. So you don't have to take time to fill out all the information. You can add a, or upload a file. And that's really helpful and time-saving. And then here, remember I said the address that you had originally in your profile, that was for the main company. This is for the job. So if your job is, um, you have a company in Wailuku, but you have jobs in Kihei, Lahaina, and a country, this is where you'd put that address. So the people would know, oh yeah, I live up country. This is up country, it'd be really convenient. So. It allows you to be more specific about the jobs that you have and where they're gonna be located. And then this is, at, so that you guys, this, this website is so thorough and so powerful uh, for you to connect with job seekers. It's, it's kind of crazy, it really is. You know, I have some questions here. Let me see if I have any questions that, oh good, people are digging it, right on, all right. Um, so uh, here we're going to go into managing those jobs. So you, what? So far we've done a company profile, we've done a post a new job, and now we're going to manage those jobs. So when someone comes in, the person that you had who's taking care of connections with these job seekers, they're going to manage those jobs. And in managing those jobs, uh, we get to see a few things. We get to see how many applications we have. We get to see how many visits to that page there were. You have your expiration date to remind you if this uh, job fill is not filled by a certain time, you'll need to update that. And then we have an instant match. And this is really cool. And actually this happens on most job sites because they all work uh, in sync. Um, instant match means that somebody, a job seeker has applied, uh, excuse me, has a profile on this website and this is the title of the job they want. So if you go into the back end to manage your jobs, you'll see someone might be an instant match. So you just click on that and you go right to their profile and it saves you a bunch of time and you can just connect with them right away. I think that's super easy and super helpful. Um, the final thing that we would have here, I'm gonna go to these boxes in a minute, um, we have your title, uh, when the job was created, the address, uh, transportation, it looks like it's in a transportation uh, uh, sector, job sector, how many applications you have. The star, if it's yellow, it means that you are featured right here, featured on the job site, and I'll show you that in a bit, and that we approved of this job. The other piece I wanna show you is if you fill the job, I want you to click fill job because that way we know that you had a job, you found who you were looking for, and now this was accomplished. And so it gives us some numbers for our, our um, you know, our, our not department, but our group 
So we all know how many jobs were filled. So now we're gonna go to a really fun part. So over here, so those four boxes that I talked to you about, I love them because it makes uh, working on this site really, really easy. So we have the I, that means you get to view what the job post is, okay? Easy peasy. You can duplicate that job. If you have another train, uh, CDL driver train, uh, trainee that you need to put in place, just duplicate the job, make it a different expiration date, and um, you, know, you can just duplicate the job. Or you can duplicate the job. Um, almost everything is exactly the same as this, but maybe the title of the job is different. Maybe it's just CDL driver. So basically you could just click here, uh, duplicate the job and then remove trainee. So it makes it again, easy to use and easy for you to maneuver. If you wanna edit that position, say for instance, the expiration date is you need to prolong that a little bit. You click edit job and you go to expiration date and you add a new expiration date. And then finally, if you don't have this job anymore, you didn't get it filled, you just, you, your company decided that you don't want this position filled at all, you can just delete it. So that is awesomely helpful. And I can tell you so much, I can tell you that I love this stuff. I think it's just amazing. So um, the tools that uh, COVID made us all go inward, right? Inward into our own, um, I'm in my little, uh, home office here and I've been here now it feels like forever because I, I this is where I do most of my work but we have really restructured how we do our business and um, as a job seeker and as an employer um, this site gives you a lot to play with and gives you a lot of control so that's why I love it so much and I love being a part of it so right now I'm going to bypass these boxes up here because I'm going to get to those in a second I'm gonna scroll, scroll all the way down because I wanna look for applicants. So applicants are when uh, I'll get a ping, looks like there's one here. I'll get a ping letting me know that the uh, job fair has an applicant that just signed up. So I get that in my email and then I can go to the back end here and then I'm gonna hit actions, right? So I'm gonna go applicants, actions. So when I do that, it opens up. I can download, don't download the, excuse me, download their resume, email the candidate directly. I can put them on a short list for interview. I can reject them or I can delete them right from this little actions button here. Very helpful. And then these boxes make sense. This will tell me how many applicants had applied for their job, how many shortlisted it, and how many were rejected. Shortlist is really, it's actually a pretty cool feature. And again, you can find this on most job sites. Um, the shortlist allows me as a job seeker to keep an eye on this position. So there's a, a on the job seeker side, there is a, a box that I can fill out that says shortlist this application, or excuse me, this uh, job. And that way I keep my eye on it. But you as an employer are gonna know if somebody shortlisted it, then you can go take a look at them and say, you know, I, I saw that you shortlisted our job. Do you have an interest in it? So you can be proactive. I, I think that's really helpful too. So um, now that those make more sense to you, then we can go up to here. Now, this one is kind of funny. So remember when I said in the profile that uh, you can um, do your uh, applications, it can be through our website internally. It can be through your website page where your jobs are, that's externally, or that you can have them directly uh, connect with you applying by email. That's what this is for. So you can look at all of these, how many applications are here, how many shortlisted, how many rejected, but don't forget to look up here because if you said apply with email, that means that this is going to be uh, applying directly by email and you're going to bypass our platform 
and you're going to bypass your web page that has your job on it. You're going to go directly to email. And that is helpful. Obviously, people do that or else that wouldn't be available. Maybe it is uh, all the other jobs that you have will go through personnel, but maybe it's an executive position that you want to go directly to the department head or to management. So depending on what all that scenario is, that's where that goes. So the other thing about being featured on our job fair is every employer, anybody who has at least one job can be on our uh, job fair. So right now we have our uh, government and nonprofit job fair up and running on our homepage. And uh, all of these little squares are, right now, these are all government jobs all of them are, um, not jobs, government departments, excuse me. And then down here, we have all of the nonprofits and partners uh, of the Maui American Job Center. So if you as an employer want to have one of these squares, uh, I'm gonna show you how to do that. Um, I will come back to this live because I want to show you what this virtual job fair has on it right now. And it'll give you the best idea of whether or not you want to be on there. So let's scoot here to how to get you featured on the job fair. So you just look up over on the uh, top menu bar. And if you uh, hover over employers, get featured will be shown. So click get featured. And when you do that, here we go. So uh, we first talk about the benefits to an employer or organization who want to be on the job fair. You have one-stop connection to job seekers. You have instant access to a click-through website link so we can go to your website easy from ours. Logo prominence on our employer page and it's no cost. So all you have to do, enter your name, your subject, your uh, email address, your phone number, and your message. And um, this will allow us to get you featured on the job fair. This actually goes to a form that you fill out that has your title, your, uh, excuse me, your business name, uh, address, information like that, and then a description of your, your uh, company. And so that's really easy to do. And um, you can get right to it from there. Um, I don't know if you remember me mentioning um, being featured on the job fair. So up here on our job fair homepage is where our schematic is. Here, there are featured jobs. So we can have jobs featured on the home page. So if you want yours to be featured, you just let us know. There's a box you can check and we'll put you featured. And what that does is it allows anybody who's looking at the home page, they don't even have to go into jobs or into employers. They can just look at the featured jobs and they can go, oh, I want to heart that. I, uh, I want to save that. I want to look at that. So they can click here, get to the job. They can click here, see it's full time. And they can click here and they can save or heart that job because that's another way for somebody to keep track of a job. So it's, it's helpful and it's, it's fun to do. So we have a little bit of time here. And so what I wanna do first of all is see if there are any questions. So I'm gonna stop sharing and I wanna see if there are any questions. Uh, let's see here. Oh. Uh, one speaker said yesterday, so I'm going to read this to you. One speaker yesterday mentioned, you have to have an extra person to fill this form and connect with real people. It is not, it is impossible for an average laborer. It's not easy peasy. I don't know why you make it so complicated. So uh, that form that I'm talking about is to have a, um, a virtual job fair, a virtual box on the job fair, or or have a, com a company profile. So, uh, Sophia, can you tell me what your problem was, and then maybe I can help you. Or if you want to connect with me later, you can do that too. But uh, we should make it easier. You don't need any extra person on this site. 
Um, we might have been talking about another program. Um, but it says you have to have an extra person to fill this form and connect with real people. I have a, I'm only one person uh, in a company and I have my information on here and it, it only takes me. So I'm not sure what this means. If you want to tell me and you want to talk about it, or if you want to talk about it later, I'd be so happy to help you uh, try to make that easier for you. So that was my only thing here. It's very good betting. Awesome, awesome. Okay, so you guys, I'm gonna go uh, live right now. So I'm gonna stop sharing and I'm gonna share. Whoops. There we go. All right. Okay. So let us do this. Let me get rid of this for a second. And then we'll go here. So can you all see my screen? Give me a thumbs up if you can. Yay. Yes, no, maybe so. Anybody, can you see my screen? I think you can. I'll keep rolling. All right. So uh, this is our actual job fair, and this is live. So we have uh, find jobs, how it works, job resources, training, employers, candidates, and contact us. And then over here, we have the Maui American Job Center that is our partner here on the job fair. Um, and they do a lot of work to help uh, employers find uh, capable employees and they help job seekers get into the type of work that I want, they want to get into. Lots of, lots of training, lots of things that are available. Looks like there's one other, got it. Thank you, Katie. All right, so um, in order to um, get into, uh, I've already showed you the screenshots, so I don't need to go through those at this point in time, um, but I do wanna show you a little bit of how it works because you might find some great information in here for you. So let me click to that. And if you want to, I love this site, I think it's so beautiful. If you want to create your profile, we have a video that can help you do that. Uh, profile tips, we have another video that will help you do that. So these are just four employers uh, help you do the right things to get the right people. Here's another uh, thing that'll go step by step so you can post a job. Research candidates. Now this one's really, really cool. And then get a virtual booth. So this How It Works page is both for job seekers and employers, but the employers, it allows us to give you more instruction if you want to do something on your own. And that's totally okay. And if you want to create your profile, just click this big old button, if you don't already have one, and uh, you can click your profile, uh, create your profile. So what do you want to do for a living? Here's a checklist. So this is for both uh, job seekers and employers. And uh, this leads to make my next move. And it's a place where you can go and research job um, sectors like for instance if I were to go here and I wanted to do some research on um, uh, marketing I can click here I can see how much people get paid for marketing I can see if it's a viable uh, industry to go into and then I can check different states and see oh my gosh they pay so much more in another state than they do here or they pay way more here than in another state gives you some really good uh, things to chew on. It's, it's food for thought, basically. And then um, language to consider when writing your resume. Of course, that's for a job seeker. Um, you might just take a look at this and see what the tips are that when you do get resumes, uh, you can gauge them a little bit better. And then I always put this in here because Oftentimes, when I'm working with small business people, I've asked them, the first thing I do is I Google them, and I get to see everything about them that's online, whether it's your social pages, whether it's uh, different websites, uh, how many times you're online, ads, all sorts of things. So I always say, Google yourself, because that's the first thing a job seeker is going to do. And uh, someone like me, if you're working with me for marketing, I am certainly going to check you out. 
Um, and then there are advantages that if you're not sure whether or not you want to be on this site, there are advantages for both job seekers and employers. I have another question here. All websites must be adapted for J-Bones. <laughs> yes, they should be. I think you're right, Sophia. Um, so let me go over here to get featured. And I want to show you this piece because this is uh, where we are right now. I was just showing you. I think we have our old schematic up here, but this will still suffice for us. So if you want to be featured on the job fair, this is how you do it. Um, any of these, uh, when it's live, I'm going to go to the front page and show you the live site. But you can click on any of these, and these are all companies. We have a different layout now, as I said. Um, as an employer, you have to know, have to do a few things for us. Uh, you're going to need to register as an employer or organization on our site. You need to have your either tax ID or DCCA number because we need to know that you are a legitimate business. You need to have a brief descri uh, description of your company, a company logo. And if you have a hard time putting your logo in, email us and we will help you do it because we could do it really quickly because we do this all the time. Click through to your uh, link to your website so you can just get you put yourself on the site and people can go directly to your job page. That's no problem. But you must have one current job listed on this site to have a um, booth. And then this is that form that I was showing you. Uh, job fair reservations. And then when you go here, you submit this and then we connect with you. So it makes it pretty easy. I'm going to go to the front page now because I want to show you the uh, government and nonprofit virtual job fair. You go to this place here. We're at our home screen. Uh, four days of events. We're on day 11th, uh, on day three right now. And tomorrow, as I said, is the big day in-person career fair at UHMC in the Kaina building. Um, but I wanna show you the job fair. So I'm gonna click here on government and nonprofit booths. So when I do, this is our new schematic that is rolling right now. Right now we have all of our uh, county, Maui County departments up here. So they have a lot of jobs. There are about uh, 75 jobs right now for Maui County. And um, if you missed any of uh, the first day, we had a lot of HR, we had an incredible um, group. It was uh, Linda Puppolo. She was the moderator for three uh, ladies who are in um, HR at, in some form. One of them was the top HR, HR person for the county. One of them was the president of the non, uh, nonprofit organization. And she was like the president of the board. Um, and she talked about nonprofit hiring. And then we had Betsy Schiller, who is from Employment Options. And she is where you, know, you would go to Employment Options if you want them to find you a job. She is the uh, person who's in charge of that company. So those three ladies gave us an overview of what it takes to get into a Maui County government job. And um, they were, uh, it was, wasn't was challenging. They just have a lot of steps that you have to go through. So when you're looking at these jobs, just know that it might take a little while for them to go through all of the applications and then connect with you. Um, I will have that interview that Linda did um, on our site uh, so you can take a look at it again if you have, you know, if you're curious. We have all of our nonprofits down here. So that's where these all are. And then here we have some awesome pieces. We have the entrepreneurial resources. I'm just going to click on here so you can see some of the things that are available to you as a um, business owner. So we have all of our virtual booths here. We have some great training videos here. Uh, we have events and descriptions. So that was of the last uh, Monday, Tuesday, and today. Small Business Development Center. So this is Wayne Wong. This is a, uh, you can use this service in Kihei. And what these guys do is um, basically Wayne Wong, <laughs> he's a rock star. Uh, I've been to Wayne Wong several times. 
and he has been able to show uh, me um, my next step. So I would go to him with our, I think I went to him because I was changing my pricing one time and I wanted to hire some people another time. And so I have Wayne Wong available to me anytime I want to ask questions of how to make my next step the right way. So his information is right here. And I'm telling you, this guy is the best. Fred Rickert is also, and Pat Diaz, she is the one who answers the phone and will give you great description and help as to where to go next. But the reason why I put these here uh, in, in the entrepreneurial resources is because they have helped me several times. SCORE Maui allows you, actually at SCORE Hawaii, we have Maui mentors. It's not SCORE Maui anymore. Um, we have merged with Oahu, Karen Arakawa and myself, we are mentors for small businesses. So if you have a small business and you need some help in accounting and marketing, just have general questions, you can click on this button and get some assistance. And these are both free. So this is incredible. And then this piece over here, is the Kohana, it's MRTC, Maui Research Technology Corporation. Um, it's right across the street from the brewery in Kihei. And if you need a co-working space, if you just need a desk, say for instance, I work up country. So if I need to go down in Kihei and I'm gonna be down there for several appointments, I can click here and rent a desk. Um, I have how to connect with us. So on the virtual job fair, you can connect with me at info at Maui County virtual job fair .com. And you can ask any question and I have access to everybody here throughout Maui American Job Center, all the employers. I've assisted people connect with employers because they couldn't for some reason. So that's what we do. We, we are here to help you and all of these resources are totally for you. So I want you to know that um, I, uh, I love what I do and I love working with the county because they've been so helpful for so many people. So anyway, that's me, my presentation today. I hope you enjoyed it. And I also hope that um, if you need any assistance, you know, you can connect with me. I'd be happy, super happy to help you. So anyway, I'm going to stop recording right now.